Hey guys, it is Danny here, the Multiple Streams Queen. I had this whole thing planned out about what I was going to talk about and somebody shot me like a really good question. A young lady inboxed me and basically asked me, what happens if I don't, I don't have any bookings? How do I pay my rent? So number one, if I, if I do all these steps, do all the things you tell me to do, I get a unit, I furnish it, I put it on these booking platforms. What happens if I don't get any bookings? That's not going to happen. <laughs> I always tell people when you are getting in business, you have to really work on your mindset. Don't go into it already defeated before you even start it, right? Because then that's just going to make you not want to start. I don't go into it with that mindset that it's not going to work. It's, it has to work or it has to work. And that's period, right? So I don't, I never go into it with a negative mindset. And if, even if I start to think negative thoughts, I reset my mind. So mentally, when you're getting into business and you're starting any business, you really, really, really have to work on your mindset. I know it sounds cliche. I know you hear it all the time, but at the end of the day, if you going into business with a defeated mindset and you're saying it's not going to work, it's not going to work. I did the numbers and it's not going to work and it's not making sense. Guess what? It's not going to work. When you realize and you understand how powerful your words are, you will start to talk different. You will start to think different, right? You will approach things differently. So I know you hear it all the time, but I'm going to continue to say it. You have to continuously work on your mindset. You have to. It is a must, right? So number one, the young lady asks, what if I get a unit and nobody books it? I don't think that way. I go, I'm go. i a huge risk taker. I don't mind taking a risk, okay? I don't mind taking a risk. I don't mind jumping full force, everything I got, I'm going I'm to go into it, right? I don't go into it with that mindset that it's not going to work. It's going to work. And if I have this unit and I'm responsible for this unit for an entire year, right? I'm going to figure out how to make it work, right? So let's kind of dive a little bit deeper in that. If you're going into it with that perspective and you are a cautious person, let's just say that you're cautious, uh, make sure you have cushion, right? So if you did all the proper things that you were supposed to do, you started your business, you structured your business right, you approach complexes, you approach landlords, and somebody gave you a yes, you signed that lease. You got everything in there. It's furnished. It's ready. You got the photos. It is listed. And you're you're not getting bookings. Always, always have some type of cushion or savings for just in case. Nine times out of 10, though, that's not going to happen. But always go into it with some just in case funds, right? You never know what's going to happen. And I always tell people, don't worry about trying to utilize all of your personal cash, right? Have access to other people's money. Credit cards, lines of credit will be a lifesaver when you're starting your business. Stop trying to go and spend all of your funds uh, to start a business because you're looking at it as debt and you don't want to go into debt. I believe in uh, there's a such thing as good debt, that being credit, utilizing someone else's money to strategically start and grow my business. And I said strategically. Have a plan. What is your plan for paying back that money or paying back or paying down that debt, right? So don't just go and get all these credit cards and you have no idea how you're going to pay, when you're going to pay. You're taking the profits that you're making from your business and you're just splurging on life and you're not paying down this debt, okay? So strategically have a plan set up for how you're going to pay, pay down that debt. Don't go into it with a negative mindset, right? Every single morning, I have to get my mind together and I say my affirmations. Like, even if I start off with a crazy day, I catch myself and I'm like, because I'm human. Like everybody else, I am human. I catch myself <clears throat> and I reset. I mentally reset. Even if that takes me five or 10 minutes, uh, still in the way time just to go meditate right? To go uh, and say or listen to my affirmations. I have a list of affirmations that I say, and I actually have a voice recording of myself saying those affirmations. And I listen to it over and over and over again, or sometimes I just say them aloud. You continuously tell yourself something, eventually you'll start to believe those things. The same way with negative thoughts. If you continuously tell yourself that it's not going to work, I don't have the money. I don't have the credit. I can't find it. I can't do this. Guess what? Those words are going to come to life. There's so much power in your words and you don't understand your subconscious mind is eating up those thoughts. Everything, every thought that you have that is negative is soaking it all up. You have a million thoughts going through your mind 
So when you feel like it's turning negative or you are being a little bit too harsh on yourself, reset. Reset. I reset multiple times throughout the day and I have to tell myself, I am grateful for this moment. I am grateful for this moment. And if I need to say my affirmations, I get into my affirmations. But I remember who I am. I remember what I am capable of. I remember what I have done and what I am doing. I remember my mission and my purpose. Even when I want to give up, I can't give up. I don't come too far to give up. So don't go into it with the mindset, oh, if I get a unit, what if nobody books? Somebody's going to book, right? So let me kind of tell you about how Airbnb works, right? When you're listing on your plat on their platform, just as much as you want to get bookings, they want you to get bookings because they're making money off you getting bookings. So there's something that they you can offer is a 20% discount for the first three listings or the first three bookings uh, that you get on their platform. So what does that mean? When people are searching in your area, the way Airbnb's algorithm is set up, if I go and I type in Miami homes and I'm just scrolling through Airbnb and looking at stuff and, you know, looking through pictures and I don't pick any place or reserve any place, Airbnb is going to send me an email like, hey, here are your homes from Miami. This one is offering, this new listing is offering whatever discount. This one has this. They're going to highlight some listings. OK, so Airbnb is going to push you out there to get you your first few bookings so you can get some guests and you can wow them. They can give you amazing reviews and then other people can start to book with you. So I never go into it with that mindset that I'm going to put a unit on the market and it's not going to book because that's just not the case. Uh, prime example, just a few weeks ago. I set up a turnkey client uh, in a Houston suburb and to start, it was kind of slow. She had people inquiring, asking questions. But now, fast forward, this was just what, maybe two weeks ago. Now she has four or five bookings, like long term, few thousand dollars bookings. The bookings will come. Your guests will come. Keep that positive mindset. But also remember that this is your business. If you're not willing to show up and show out for your business, why would anybody else want to? Right. I tell people all the time, if you haven't exhausted all your resources, what are you doing? Another day, I'm going to go over how you can try to keep your unit booked, having your business model, having a niche, connecting and talking to people. Tell people what you're doing. If they don't know that you're a corporate housing company or short term rental company, how are you going to get how are they going to refer clients to you? Open up your mouth. Right. But never go and start any business with the mindset of what if it doesn't work? Just prepare for plan A, plan B and possibly a plan C. So if you're going into it, have a cushion, have access to funds. So hypothetically, worst case scenario, if something happens and you can't utilize your unit, you can still pay the rent. You got to get creative and think outside of the box. That unit will book. Somebody's going to pay to stay or do something in that unit. That's why I preach to people the importance of having good credit as well. When you have good credit, you can access credit. You can access other people's money for your business. Get that credit together. I am excited too because I'm actually partnering with the software where people can actually fix their credit for free. So I'm excited to present that to people because I know how it is having bad credit, having good credit. I have been through the cycle, y'all, a few times. When I got out of high school, I didn't know anything about credit. It's not something that my parents talked to me about, right? And so I had to learn and I learned the hard way about credit and I messed my credit up and then I had to fix it all over again. And I know what it feels like to walk in a place or a dealership when you have bad credit and you are there all day and they're trying to get you a car. And on the flip side of that, I know what it feels like to have good credit. You can go get it pre-approved with your bank, go get a check, walk into that dealership and you're gone in an hour, right? So I tell people, get your credit together when you are starting a business. People will tell you, save, save, save. Yes, that is great. But when you save, 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 and you're putting all that money into your business, what happens when you run out of money and your credit is bad? Is your business supposed to stop? Get your credit together. Have a business. <laughs> have some cushion or access to some, some emergency funds for just in case it doesn't book. But I promise you, it's going to book. It's going to book, right? And get that mindset together. All right, guys, have a good day.